Like booksellers and fashion retailers, travel agents' entire commercial world has been turned upside down by the internet. Just 15 years or so ago, virtually all flights in Australia would have been booked through a travel agent. To buy a flight directly from the airline, you'd virtually have had to go to the airport itself to find their sales counter. Nowadays, of course, buying a flight directly from the airline is the most natural thing in the world. For many years, Flight Centre's big claim was that their price for any flight would be the cheapest. If you found a cheaper flight, they would beat that price by $1 and give you a $20 gift voucher. This worked fine while they were mostly competing against other travel agencies, few of whom had the size and volume of Flight Centre. Once the airlines could compete directly, though, it all changed. Three airlines, Singapore, Malaysian and Emirates, each dropped their prices and undercut the Flight Centre price. Customers started to ask for their $20 voucher and Flight Centre was forced to start dropping its prices to levels it couldn't sustain. Flight Centre then sent a series of emails to these airlines, essentially saying that in order to avoid damaging Flight Centre, which was still providing value to the airlines, the airlines should stop their discounting. Now, if Flight Centre was in competition with these airlines, then this would be the very definition of anti-competitive conduct, making an agreement to maintain prices so the consumer has to pay more. However, Flight Centre argued that in fact it was merely the agent of these companies and so it couldn't possibly be in competition with them. The High Court by majority disagreed. The court found, and in retrospect this seems quite obvious, that Flight Centre couldn't have been an agent because it didn't have fiduciary duties. It was free to compete. Justices Kiefel and Gagler said, Flight Centre's authority extended not only to deciding whether or not to sell an airline's tickets, but also to setting its own price for those tickets. And there is no suggestion that Flight Centre was constrained in the exercise of that authority to prefer the interests of the airlines to its own. In effect, Flight Centre was competing with the airlines and a fine of $12.5 million was imposed upon the company for price fixing. 